how nice it's going to be. But hey ho. <laughs> right then, Dave, this morning we're going to Flag and Whistle Pub. Sorry, the Flag and Whistle Calf. She's about five miles outside of Broadway in the Cotswolds in a place called Toddington. And it's um, Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Steam Railway site. So you can have a breakfast, you can look at the steam trains, the parking's good and the breakfast night, because I went last week with Mr. Fanti. So, yeah, we're going to get there and have a meander. I've got the beeline set up, but I've done the route, personalised it myself. But I know where I'm going anyway, it's just tweaks, just to point me in the right direction on roads I haven't been down before, just to make it a bit different. And hopefully the weather will clear, in theory. <laughs> Cool. And That's the, the plan. Excellent. There you go, mate. You're uh, you're the star of the show today. I'm going to take That's a sec. It. I'm going to take a second a back seat today. That's uh, it. I don't want to talk too much, so I'll never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the date's the 16th of uh, of April. I have to put the dates yes, in so I can is. remember yeah, the Sunday date. The 16th. The Trisley born, but hopefully it'll clear. Yeah. And with you leading, we probably won't end up going round in ever decreasing circles because I can't follow a sat nav. <laughs> Never know. I know where I'm going. I'm just it's just the odd little bits, that's all. But it just makes it easier to get, send you a route. So at least you've always got it if you ever want to do it again. Yeah. Plus we found a chip shop to add to the collection on our evening ride outs in Breeden. So that's another one to do. Oh, got on our chip shop evening ride outs. I'll have the chip shops. So, that'll be something different again. Well, we did our little review of that overpriced one in Broadway. Last, uh, last time I was out with Paul. Uh, the, uh... Yes, I heard it was a chip shop in Broadway. They do very dry fish. <laughs> uh, expensive, which I don't mind paying, but it wasn't very good. I went last time a few years ago and it was lovely, but when we went it was like eating cardboard. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what had gone wrong, but no. it was a shame. Maybe because we're bikers from the black country, they looked at us and thought, well, if we give them rubbish food, they'll all come back again. Was yeah, right? they were right. They were right. Yeah. Let me give it over Romsey, Dave, I think, first. OK, mate. No problem. This is it cold? No, it's, it's, warmer, it's warmer than last week. You've just got the dampness, that's all, but it is warmer than last week. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, you've got your hitty gloves on? No, I left the batteries in the, at Barmouth. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> Not bad. OK. Oh, dear. Daffodils are lasting well. Pardon? I say the daffodils are lasting well. Daffodils, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and I know, I feel better this week than last week. I think I just needed to get out last week to get my body into it. Yeah, yeah. I've started to uh, relax into it again now. Yeah, I'm all right now. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a, last week was just... it's a funny thing, really. You have to get a, have a certain level of fitness, really, for riding bikes at our age. Yeah. And you lose it over the I'm, winter. Well, I do, but you you probably do more than me. Cause I'm, you're do, I'm all right because the yeah because the job I do I'm all right. It's just the fact I think that um, I was a bit sluggish and tired and a bit wooden first thing, and I'm all right now. This yeah. is, this bug, this is comfortable. That's what I like about this. I can shift a bit on it. At yeah. least it's a bit more. You know, get your your problems that you get normally aching. Yeah. It's always a getting old, eh? The more you do, the better you feel. The less you do, the worse you're going to feel. Exactly. I don't know what I'll do if I ever stop. I think I'll just die on the saw bench, I think. <laughs> Probably the best way. I think if I stop, I'll turn to jelly. Yeah. That's why a lot of people do, do do die when they stop working, because the, the, uh, yeah. it's the, the, their whole life is geared around what they do. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you've got you've to keep... You've got to keep at it, because otherwise I think you do end up, um, yeah, seizing up, yeah. not doing something. So this is a completely different route we're doing to what I did with Rob last week. So going a different way, and a different way coming back. Cool. Is that an old mill or something? I'm guessing it would be. Uh, that's right, mill. Um, it, used to be a, it used to be a bike shop. There's a, there's a, there's a cricket bat shop here, on the left. Right. It used to be there, and I've moved it. 
that used to be a, like an old bike shop and selling parts and everything, I think, years ago. Oh, right. Yeah. This is Drayton again. That's it. The, no, that place that I don't know where I am. The place you don't know where you are. On the left hand side, as we leave in Drayton, Bob Warmer, Warner, who worked for the BBC, lives on the left hand side up there. Oh, yeah. He used to, and he did live in Belbroughton, but he lives there now. And he used to regularly wave to you when he used to go through Belbroughton, but he just lives up there now. Right. There you are. Bob Warman, yeah. Yeah. Older than God's dog he is, isn't he? Eh? He's older than God's dog. I know, he's done well, really. He's had a good career, and not he? And that's sticking at them. Yeah. Yeah, what's the milk here? Start the evenings out soon. Yeah, I'm just working out for it now. What to do first? As you say, I'll see what turns going on. I mean, once it gets properly light, we'll do that one over to the other side of Ross on Y one of the evenings. Yeah. We probably had to start out a bit earlier than six, which yeah, I yeah. think at eight o'clock. So we can have a blast over there, and then um, that will be one to do. Then, as you say, I'll just find it. I found that one at Breeden, so we can, you know do that, revisit the beauty one, because that was nice, and I'll find one in Eveship now, so it just things are about 40 mile away. Yeah. So at least then, you, you, you've got to ride out to go and have something, and just makes it different, doesn't it? Yeah. Just gives you a, just something to do different. Yeah. You can uh, melt the chip shops and rate them. And your chip is in yeah. clear every Mortimer. There's a chippy up on yes, clear, isn't there? There's one clear, as you click top of clear, there's the car park on the left. If you park up there, walk down, you've got the uh, Swift bakery I think it is That's and it's it. one, there's one next to it there so there's a toilet out of the road as well and uh, yeah you, we can try that one because that's nice because you can walk back up and sit on the bench then yeah yeah so there's one there uh, button on the water that's a nice one it's the old bank all oh, right yeah. Just yeah, as yeah you turn in yeah by the river there so that I did that one last year on a Saturday evening so uh, that one's nice so there's another one to do again that city by the river one of the evenings again you are the uh, yeah do that that'll be pleasant yeah and yeah, we have to measure our waste when we start this lot see how much weight we've put on after eating all the fish and chips yeah mushy peas you got to have yeah. to get around well, we st- five a day somehow ain't you <laughs> have, to, have you had your five yeah. a day and mushy peas with me fish and chips yeah i mean he's civilized for your day yeah, you've got your rack on the back. You'll have to put a plate in and a knife and a fork. Knife so and you can fork. Put it all onto your plate. Aww. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Aww. Get your plate out and put it onto there and sit down. And that'd be something to, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lay a table. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, what we'll do, we'll do an evening one to the Lung Mind. Get fish and chips in the town. Drive over to the top. Find a secluded spot on a, on a hill. Yeah. Pull over on the grass and sit and have fish and chips because there's white horses over there and we can just sit there and relax and the sun sort of semi going down and then have a nice ride back that'll be, that'll very, be a good one to be, do that'd be very civilized that would wouldn't it that would be nice wouldn't it yeah yeah that's it bring a uh, a bamboo or a metal plate with you not a crock one in case you break it <laughs> the dining, set a knife oh, and, and a fork and salt and vinegar and off the way you go should be found china really to be fair yeah, Should, I would like a. Actually, why haven't we got that? Would we? I'll have to bring a chili cup and I'll silicon the, silicon the um, saucer on the bottom so I don't lose it. <laughs> and I can have a chili and a flask. <laughs> <laughs> Is it down here where the hippos are? Yes. Uh, I, I, I noticed a few months ago when I come in the van back, he hadn't had gone because I think he cleans them for the winter, puts them away for the winter. Right. So you're going to either have a point to it and slow down, so as you can see, you'll either have a group of hippopotamuses or crocodiles uh. but I might not be out yet again right it's here Dave on the left hand side right uh, okay keep them peeled where then the, where, the co- where the cones are we'll do a slow drive past just to see if there's anything in the pond have we no just ducks this Duck, time ducks. live ducks so we ain't put them in yet okay. so hopefully they'll be put back out in the spring that's where you look anyway okay, no. just there that's where the uh, Oh, we've seen live, we've are. seen live ducks anyway, so that's. Uh... Yeah, we've seen two live mallards anyway, so that's all right. 
cracking stretch of road this. Oh, it's all right, it's nice and steady. It's just, you know, just breaks it up, doesn't it? It's yeah. sort of, um, yeah. it's one of those sometimes you like to go on just to wake yourself up. Yeah. Same there, if you turn right there, there's a nice road there, just to Dalverdale. It connects with that other road, I said, so you can do some nice meandering around there. Yeah. Where's the chips on the tank, Dave? You up, mate? Where's the chips on your scram on the tank at the, at the on, bottom? On the front right hand side. Front, front right hand side. Oh, which blimey. is where you'd expect yeah. them where the stone gets kicked up by a tyre. Yeah. So, it's a, a tiny. You, I've, I've already touched them out. You can, bear, you, you can see them if you look for them. But yeah. it's, it's, it's battle scars for, for <coughs> a bike that goes where it goes, isn't it, really? What, what I brought for the judge, because I was trying to find a colour, I brought a set of crayons that I did. Wax crayons, yeah, just to match them in. I was trying that, but uh, I couldn't get it to work. So I've uh, actually went and got the red standard stuff from Alpens, just the red touch up, and it's almost yeah. exactly perfect. That's fair enough. Then. So, uh, so yeah, so as I say, battle scars. That's the way I'm. Yeah, well, it's, I know. Yeah. At the end of the day, mate, it's <coughs> it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> you can't wrap them up in cotton wool. No. That's the trouble. That it's shows where. One, exactly. Shows it's been out and. Uh, Ridden the sort of roads it's made for. Yeah, well that's it, isn't it? You wait yes. till you see the roads I was down on the... Uh, I've got a first video of the uh, last weekend coming out in the middle of the week. You wait till you, oh, okay. see, you, wait till you see the road I found on that one. <laughs> right. You can see why, they get, just... why it's getting chipped. And so the sticker looks good on the back of your helmet. Oh good, yeah. So as you say, <coughs> stick them on as you say, so to speak. I've got to put one on the back of mine. It's just, just advertising. And then order some new ones. I've got, got one on each side of the casing as well. well I've got Nippy Norman on the one. I've got a, yours one on, one's on the... Um, I think there's one on the hugger and there's one on the casing on the other side. And we've got where the casing guards are. Yeah. I need to get uh, need to get one of the all year motorcyclist stickers. I'll have to send him a message and ask him to send us one. Yeah, get one of them off him. Huh? What's that thing he's doing? He he's raised a thousand oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, a charity. It's for um, oh bloody hell, what's it called? Uh, prostate cancer. Ah, oh, for prostate, fair enough. He's doing the distinguished okay. gentleman's ride on in May. And uh, gotcha. raising money for the uh, for prostate cancer. Yeah, he was after I think he was after three hundred on quid, and he ended up with over five hundred in the first in the first few hours. So he's doing really well. <coughs> well, it's good to do. End of the day, I, I, I'm I'm a victim of the similar thing, having testicular cancer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I I get it, and I was one of the look one of the three out of the people we knew who survived, the other two died. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah. it's a good thing to do. Just make people aware and there's nothing to sh nothing wrong to talk about it at all. No. Uh, you know, you've got to. Uh, so <coughs> he's, uh, he's doing really and well I with it. Clear. I mean, how long have I been there? I was 23, so I'm 59 now, so that's like, uh, yeah, yeah, 36 years this August since oh. I had it. Let's say, uh, yeah, let's so say that that's uh, mainly young men get that. Well, I was 23, as you yeah. say, just, it was weird. It was yeah. sort of, you know, the other two people who got it was the same sort of age, 21, yeah. 25. Yeah. And uh, they never made it. They died. Uh, so I was the lucky one that day. Yeah, absolutely. So, now came out of nothing. I was really bored. Just went in, had it ripped out, come out, and then you just do five years of them checking on you. All good. That's so, good. I remember you had a Womble. I remember you had a Womble, yeah. Yeah. What's that? That's just fucking top of my army. The mud. Pardon? What's that? I've just had a bit of mud flick up in the middle of my army. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here's a tail for you. <coughs> here's one. Um, that chap Steve, aka Spook, who I met. Yeah. I went for a coffee the other week for he went out for the first time with his mates on the Ducatis 
and I was coming back through Kerry, coming home, and he says, you won't going fast. He says, no, I went over this brow. He says, it was all crap in the roads as, as it is. There was a cat's eye that must have been loose. Anyway, he must have caught it, or part of his cat's eye, with his back tyre. It flicked up. The chap behind, it whacked him on the side of the helmet and hit him in the shoulder. Jesus wept. So when he put he caught up to pull him out, he pulled out of that. It had broke, completely broke the side of his out, his visor off and, and, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, damaged his helmet. Bloody hell. So he said I got he had to stick it on with sticking plasters because he got no gaffer tape. The bloke had got a big bruise on his shoulder off his loose cat's eye, and he had to have a new helmet. Christ. So there you are. But some Mad of things happen, don't they? Imagine if it hit him straight in the face. I know, but some of these, you know, they're not maintaining these roads properly. I know. They're charging us a fortune and just doing nothing with, oh, I don't know what they're doing with the money, but they ain't using it to, work, to what it should be being used for. I think, I think when we was kids, it was all new. All those road surfaces was done properly. Yeah. And then as time's gone on, all they've done is put a, they've just put a plaster on top of the holes and then every time you get a bit of frost it's coming up and yeah. now it's like biting them on the bum because it's absolutely yeah. atrocious yeah but again what can you do this is where i don't know you're, you're better off with an adventure to well adventure scrambler type bike because the state of the roads now i mean i've got to go out on my race and i dread it I know. i'm like i'm going to pick selective roads that aren't little ones that are more laid back because that'll chuck it all over the place I know. you know so it's just yeah I think it's the first time I've followed somebody for ages, you know. Oh, he's the leader, isn't you? I can't remember the last yeah. time I followed somebody. I think, oh, I can, it was Brian last year. That's it, Brian done one for you then, when we went away in July, I'd oh, done it. Yeah. And Brian took it out somewhere, so, that was yeah. It. Oh, oh that yeah. was it, that was to the cafe in Tembury Wells, That's wasn't it? That's it, Tembury Wells, yeah. He did, t he did, it, he did two, he did two for us. Oh, fair enough, fair play. Telephone box in front, Dave. <laughs> Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Does it have a telephone in? That's the question. That's the question. Has it got a phone in it? No. 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 Books. Rejected books then. The Rejected. Defibrillator. Yep, defibrillator. That's what that has in. We're on the same road. I'm still on the right track. So we've missed Breeden and we're going around the back roads now that eventually cut us across the A46. Right, so Kemerton. No, we need to this one because it's counting down. <laughs> Let's uh... see. One yard it says, so I think I'm on the right lines, yep. Yeah. It's telling me 138 yards turn left. 106 yards. Why <laughs> me? Ah, oh. okay, so we've got to turn here again, so that's bringing us back around where we started, that is. I know. Uh... Okay, let's try it and see. Might be me, that was, might be me drawing that up though, because I've probably just done a meander on it, you see. Be more me than that. Yeah. I'm turning here now, so probably I'd put that down to me being, uh... yeah. Meandering it with my finger as well. Yeah. Big church here, mate. That's lovely, isn't it? It's nice. This is, I've never ever been round here, so this is this is just A little bit of a pond there. Beautiful. Put your horse. It's nice, isn't it? Look at it. Pro done this. Proper Cotswolds. Look at that. Yeah. Wonderful. Wow, look at that. It's nice. Yeah. That Alver, Alver, Alverbury. That's a school. Alverbury. Wonderful. Look at that. Even, you've even got a cricket ground as well. How oh, nice. The roads are good as well. Yeah. Condescent. Condescent. I mean, it's pleasant. It's lovely. 
bit outside our price bracket, I reckon, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, a little bit couldn't afford it, couldn't afford the shed. <laughs> Fine, man. Even the sheep are middle class. They do. They were looking disparagingly at us, weren't they? Yeah, would you say you? <laughs> <laughs> He has to sharpen. <laughs> yeah, that cut you out. That one could, couldn't it? Yeah, that was a sharp, and then I thought, oh, I'm all right, and I kept thinking, shit, that's getting tightening a bit more. Nice tennis courts as well, Dave. Yeah. Beckford. And I think we're going. I think we're going down that road. You know, this is where it's going to go belly up on me. In it. Yeah. yeah. We've got to go that way. I'm going to. We're going. We're going left then right. Check a chance because it's a bit too. I'm see. I'm going to do it now. There's nothing in front. Just to see if it does tell me. Yep, it's telling me. So that, that's what you've got to be mindful of. And because I did the route and looked at it, otherwise you'd have gone sailing on up the road. Yeah. Huh, so they had hairs on the roof of that uh, cottage there. Yeah. Pleasant, isn't it? Lovely. I bet they went mad when they built them new houses, you know, didn't they? Yeah, I bet the planning application was interesting. Yeah, I know. Never done this. This is this is just pleasant. It makes me feel better when I do so much I've done before. I get bored otherwise. Yeah. Frampton Cottages. They're nice. 1892. Yeah. Loads of little roads to discover dive round here. Yep, you could spend weeks down here, could you? Yeah, you could get there, just meander all around these little back roads, mate, and you'd love it. Yeah. It's just, you know, yeah, it is good. Oh, Dave, I'll stick it here. Excellent. <coughs> that were grand, that were. Something different in it than where we have it. Flag and whistle and the Gloucester and Warwickshire Steam Railway at Toddington. Oh. Right. That was a very pleasant. Well, it was a nice breakfast, wasn't it, without being too much? Yeah. Nice size. Very nice size. Marvellous. Still spitting the rain. Yeah, it's a bit funny, isn't it? It'll uh, clear up a bit. Still rain in the air. All ready? All good to go, mate. All good to go. Honeybourne North Loop Signal Box. Wonderful. I, I was just reading out the name of the signal box. Oh, okay. We would like a bit of off road in there, Dave. Oh, yeah, should have bought the scram.
Lovely. Lovely. So there you are, flag and whistle. Taddington. You look to the right, right down to the train coming in. <laughs> Very nice breakfast. We're going now back towards uh, Broadway via Snow Hill, Broadway, Chipping Camden, and meandering through Mickleton, and ending up sort of back towards uh, diverting around up and Upton Snow, going around that way, I think. Back through Broadway again. Should be a nice ride. Weather's still a little bit funny, eh? but it's alright. It's a dry, a little bit of not too bad. So oh. there you are. Nice oh. breakfast. <coughs> well, it was delicious so that was. That like George and the Dragon one day, if that's I was, I was looking at it like uh, some. Yeah? yeah, George and the Dragon. It was dra the dragon or a serpent or something. Yeah. Okay, that's, one to, that's one to stop at next time for a bit of a thing, have a look at it. Yeah. Never seen that before. I've well, never noticed it before anyway. No. Yeah. Perfect, yeah, and thank you for uh, for buying me that breakfast. Definitely my turn Sorry, next time. I'm just getting me I'm just getting me breakfast in now this year, so I can't, I ain't gonna pay for a right one in the year. That's it, you'll have your <laughs> you'll have your quota. I'm getting a stock in. <laughs> oh <laughs> this is lovely this here, a bit of road here, isn't it? Yeah, this is a nice sweep, a little bit of road. If you follow it all the way up, it just takes just stow on the wall. We'll be turning off in a minute, <coughs> in about a mile. Snow Hill, but it's meanders all the way up to uh, Snow. And you can turn right as well for Bought on the Water, just around the corner. This is nice. Yeah, this is different, isn't it? Yeah. The different vistas you, you get to see by going on these roads as well. Yeah, just, just nice, you say, just the, uh, yeah, the overall of it's good. Oh, here we go, round here then. I think that beeline there was going to take us up that track. I know, <laughs> I know. I think it was, you know, because it's going to be funny. I reckon we should have gone up that dirt track then, yeah. for some reason. But it was, obviously like you said, it's suitable for vehicles but it's still a road yeah there you are there's one for next time Dave with the uh, scrambler and the scramblers definitely do that one yeah that, that'd be interesting because that'd be interesting to come up but not on what you got but um, oh there you are then so that would have been one so this is cutting the corner off I see where the road connects okay here's another one here looks unsuitable for motors yeah <laughs> yeah that'd be a one to go yeah up. that definitely Lyman. is okay <laughs> Yeah, I'm out in it now. Okay, that road must be going up the top of there. Yeah. Them tree line is. We pick it up somewhere down here. Brilliant. Bloody it's, nice, isn't it? it's great, isn't it? Look, look at the view. Remote house on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. look where this is. Little dry stone walls everywhere. Gosh, it could be in Yorkshire. I know. And what, we're probably about 35, 40 miles from home. Yep. That's about it, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, well, much on our left, yeah. so much know, on our doorsteps. So much on our doorsteps now to mooch around and explore. But it's doing the different roads in it, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. I'm just curious where that track comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I... is there, there must be a route. Is there a road here then, Dave? Look, on the right on the left hand side. Or the old Mechanil. I bet that's where that's that a, that's a road, look, that's a road that is. We could have come down that. Yeah, I bet that's where that track comes out. That's where it is. We could have followed that track there. There's one for the scrambler down. When you get the scram back out, we, there's a little bit of a mild track there you can go along. Yeah. Yeah. That'll just give a few of them an heart attack. That's the scram's natural habitat that. Yeah. Yeah. It's all been it's around about. here before, you know, and I can't really remember now. I've, been, yeah, I've, I've definitely been around here before, but it's yeah. it's one of those you can do it multiple think, times. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I think I'm, I don't know now. I don't know. I've lost the plot. I don't know where. <laughs> I just keep following it. Yeah. Three miles on this road now, whatever it is. I ain't got a clue. I'm doing a day. I ain't got a clue. Oh, no. Yeah, do it, mate. I've been but down here before. Never know what I do where I am. 
you could be in a complete wilderness here at the minute. I know. This sort of countryside like, is my happy place. I'm, I'm, I'm always content and relaxed when I'm out in the countryside. Yeah. Oh, it's just nice, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's just um, calming, I think. It's yeah. calming. It's good for the... Some good people like fishing, but it... Good for the I soul. I think you've got to concentrate. I've got to concentrate like I used to, so you can just be aware of what's going on around you. Yeah. Without it flipping um, you too much grief. Okay, mate. Yep. All good. And it is. All yeah. So I'm done. I bet it flipping is there. Right? Another bit I ain't done up here. So this isn't good. That's just on the left there. Look at that. Yeah. Grand designs. Yep. Wonderful. Chip in Camden. This is a nice place. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Look at that. Dave, we couldn't even come and live here if we'd won the money to, because they'd suss it out and they'd burn us at the stake. They would. We'd okay. got no chance. That'd be like uh, the Wicker Man all over again, wouldn't he? We'd be, would uh, it, we would be, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we'd be we, run out of town, mate. We, we'd be Edward Woodward, would did, wouldn't we? Edward Woodward, would did. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Woodward, yeah. would did. They'd build a Wicker Man well, and stick us in it and burn us, wouldn't they? Yeah, we'd be be gone, mate, there'd be nothing left to us because they just wouldn't have us. So if you don't have them, that'd be it. That's it. These, 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 these evil foreigners have arrived. Yeah. That's the thing, though, when you get to the next level, you don't care, do you? Nah. That's the beauty of it. I'm going to turn now in 100 yards. That's at the top high street now, so we're turning right now, so. Ah, oh, the cyclists everywhere. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So this is another nice one, but I don't know, I've never seen this where the cafes are, or... Yeah, then again, it's a bit commercial, so it gets a bit busy, so... Yeah, you probably pay a lot more money for something and get less. Oh, yeah. That's a problem, you know, Rocky Three Rocky Hours Club. Rocky Three, yeah. Two of them. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if all places were like this? Well, this is the uh, idealistic old British... Yeah. Oh, it's, Quintessentially, yeah. This, really is, like. this is what uh, sort of foreign people think England and the British Isles are yeah. like. Well, I come here to these; they don't come to normal. I nah. think this is how everybody nah. lives. They come to where yeah. we live; they wouldn't want to come back again in a hurry. Nah, that's why the boat people. <laughs> that's why the boat people don't come here, mate. Yeah. The wild well, well, No. Another lot of new houses there. Yeah, know. new ones again. Yeah. Don't ask me where I'm going, I'm following the sat now. Okay, no worries. Well, it hasn't rerouted, so I'm on the right road. Thank you, though. To what, I, to what I created, so this is what I did. Meandering a bit, so we'll see. I mean, this is another nice little bit, in this. Beautiful. Where was this? I don't know. I don't know. Over the right. canal. River's up. Oh, river. Beautiful. River. Oh, it's Haven. It. It's up, innit? That's good, innit? Yeah. It's up. I've just realised I've actually got a squeegee thing on me glove that I never noticed before. Oh, have you got a finger wipe? Yeah, they're good, they're not. Yeah. It's good. Never noticed, right, it. I... Never noticed it before. <laughs> I just wiped my nose with it. That's how I know. I just used it to wipe my nose. I thought that was a bit. Nose wipe? That hurt a bit. It's sharp. Right, I'm going to do a. Before the memory card fills up, I'll do a. They did end in. I'll be quiet. What's the matter? Do an end in. You can say bye bye as well if you want to. Just to say if you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. 
please uh, feel free to subscribe, leave comments. We like comments because we won't like to answer to them and uh, answer questions and uh, and uh, have a discussion about what we've been doing. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, as I say, please consider subscribing. Please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon. Over to you, Mucka. Yes, I'm here. I hope you all enjoyed this. Different places to go, different breakfasts. Keep watching the channel for the evening rides out for the chip shop runs. We'll give you details of where and where you can go. And even we can send you the route somehow. I don't know. Or you can look at them to see where we've been. Give you an idea on um, yeah how to get to these places. I'll pass it over to you, Dave. Nice Thanks one. Thanks again. Yep. Cheers. See you all again soon.